Okay, what we're going to demonstrate here is the difference between a bleeds auto and a bleeds closed takeoff um, with it 32 Celsius out. Now the maximum temperature on takeoff two engine for the B model is 927 for up to two minutes and 917 for up to five minutes. Let's see at 32 C on a takeoff what temperatures we reach. So if Juan and Juanita here will instigate the takeoff, I'll zoom in on the temperatures and Juan is going to read out air speeds for me. Go ahead and abort at about 100 knots, okay? Okay. I'm going to try and get both the airspeed indicator and the temperatures in the picture here. Auto course and high. Set max tower. Power set, three green. Temperatures are rising. We have exceeded 927. What's our airspeed? They maxed out at 80. 937. Okay, go ahead and abort. That exceeds the 927 limitation, does it not? Yes, it does. All right, I'm going to reposition you back to the start of the runway here. We're back to 3 1 left. As soon as the yellow banner goes out, go ahead and go ahead and close your low pressure bleed valve. Low pressure is closed. And this is based upon guidance from General Electric. General Electric says under no circumstances, if the outside air temperature or SAT exceeds plus 20, do you take off with the low pressure bleeds in auto. So now what we're going to do is at the same temperature, same weight, same everything, we're going to do a takeoff with the same power setting of 100 and see what the temperatures on those engines read. Remember one, read out the airspeed as it goes, 60, 80, for me, I appreciate it. You got it. All, All right. right, let's go. Okay. Take right, off. Ready? Clear, go. Power course and high. Set max power. Power set, three green. There's 60. There's a roll it back. Go ahead and board. It's important to note on your power push and your takeoffs that the temperature of the engines typically maxes out at about 70 to 80 knots. The reason it does is because the airflow through the engine at that point is fast enough to begin cooling the engine. However, we need as pilots, especially pilot monitoring, to make sure that we are looking back at that temperature, not just giving it a cursory glance as we go to the airspeed indicator, but actually coming back to it before you hit the 70, 80 knot point to make sure that you're not exceeding that 927 limitation. Otherwise, we're damaging our engines. And when we damage our engines, the airplanes don't fly. Bad flying, bad operations is why we can't have nice stuff. Remember that.